Some people live to work. Others work to live. The NMU club hockey team has to employ both philosophies, putting in over 40 hours of work on and off the ice every week since August just to be able to play the game they love. When you first uh, join club hockey, uh, we always ask every year, are you willing to put in this kind of commitment because it really is a big commitment. As non-scholarship student athletes, the $2,200 league fee falls on their lap, which doesn't include things like sticks, gloves, skates, helmets, or meals. They even have to pay just to try out. I have to work over 40 hours a week just to pay for hockey. Add in the fact that they have to maintain a certain GPA to stay eligible, and you have what amounts to a full-time job. You have to be able to study, you know, between classes here and there, little bit, bits at a time. And it kind of gets a, to be a burden late at night, but something you gotta do. Their league, the American Collegiate Hockey Association, or ACHA, has 450 teams worth of motley top-tier talent searching for a way to channel their passion. There's a lot of kids looking, and they don't, you know, they don't maybe know where to go. And at a certain age, certain point in their career, they're told, you know, NCAA isn't an option for you, you're just not gonna get there. But those kids who are on the fence, those are the kids that we want here playing ACHA hockey. Players like Evan Weber have been skating since they could walk. You just never want to stop, and especially at a competitive level. And this year they have been extremely competitive thanks to a revamped coaching staff. Coach Carl Trezine has made a sea change in the program, compiling a 33-4-2 record in only his second year. But he'll be the first to tell you he couldn't do it alone, subscribing to the mindset that three heads are better than one. You can stay on them when there's three of us, you know, so it's easier to fix what's going wrong systems-wise or just player development wise Every night, the three coaches are able to sit down and make decisions together. Their combined effort, along with talent like Wolf and Nico Bellinger, who have 98 points, 46 goals, and two national championships between them, has led to their first regional playoff berth in club history. This has been our goal, I think, from my first season to get to regionals, and I mean, It'd be nice to go to Nationals, but I'm happy right now. And given that most of their talent will return next season and have another year to soak up the organization, structure, and tradition Coach Trezine and his staff have put into place, there's no doubt that they will be back in the playoff picture for years to come, regardless of Saturday's result against Michigan State. In Marquette, I'm Rick Tarsitano for TV6 News.